Welcome back to the channel. We'll be taking a look at the La Posa LTVA system that comes from their Bureau of Land Management. We're here in Quartzsite, Arizona. There are four major LTVAs here. There's 11 LTVAs, Southern California and Arizona. So let's go take a look at La Posa South and uh, see how people get along out there. But I need you to do something for me. See that little red button? down the bottom right corner of this video, I need you to click on that little button. Well, here we are at the entrance of La Posa South, and we're going to go ahead and take a look at it. But first, I want to uh, stop by and see a new friend of mine, Cecil Oberman. He is a he is a craftsman of wood. He is just so talented. He's been building these little structures like a miniature western town. And we stopped by and talked to him for a few minutes. You just got to see this. So you just come here and you check in with the people here. They're open at various times. Little shack here. And they're real friendly. Everybody's real nice here. Guys, I got to tell you something. I saw this on Facebook. This gentleman is a woodworker. And he's a profet He's a craftsman out here in La Posa South. And so uh, we're going to talk to him about his his craftsmanship here. And uh, so he's going to introduce himself. Okay. All right. Or tell us about. Hi, him. my name's Cecil Opperman from Wisconsin. Hi, Cecil. This this is kind of my placard of my name. Do the engraving? This is all done, yes, with, with uh, a roto zip. It's about a half inch deep engraved. I see. Uh, this is just my version of an old western court site. Oh, Lord. Back in the 18th. So this is a work in progress. This is work in progress. It started with my barn. Look at this, everybody. Uh, Look at this. All of this. All of these edges were actually about a quarter inch cut off of old wood. I trimmed it all off. Because I rebuilt my cabinets in the motorhome. And of course, my fence. That's the third fence. I had to do it three times before I got it right. <laughs> this one, I can live with this one. How long did it take you to do this? I think I got about 60 hours in it. All lined with cedar. Got a swinging door here. Got too, many, too much gravel so it doesn't open and close. But here I got my steer. <laughs> some, some pieces got cut more. The windows are, are finished off inside and out. Right of course, I did the jail on the back side. It's hard to see, but there is jail cells back there with two beds up against the wall. Then we got to our trading post. All my little miniatures I found back in Wisconsin. I wasn't sure if they were going to fit it, but it ends up that it fit the, the perfect size. I see over here. One. It's my version of the Long Branch Saloon. Building tables for it. There will be uh, tables against the wall, some little tables, uh, mirrored on the back wall, and whatever else I can put in there before I put the roof on. Because once I put the roof on, it's glued and screwed, and and then the and that's it. Huh? And that's that it. One by ten piece of barn wood. You got any money in that thing, man? <laughs> well, I got about that's beautiful. About a dollar's worth of wood in it, <laughs> and twenty-five cents worth of polyurethane on it. And of course, every bank needs a vault, so that'll be mounted inside. Great work. Tell us well, your name you. again. Pardon, Cecil Opperman. Thank you, sir. Back from we, Wisconsin. My goodness, we appreciate it. Well, thank we you. We truly do. I, I'm glad you stopped. I...
expect uh, if you come here and stay. It's a beautiful day today. It's December 30. It's about 50, 50, uh, 55, 60 degrees. So we'll go up to about 350 feet, about right there, that's three, 370. And so we'll take a look around here. And we're right below. That's uh, right there in the center. So we're gonna take a look around. And you can see how vast it is, uh, this LTVA. 
is that's 95 going south and go to Yuma that way. And way back in, way back there is uh, La Posa Tyson Wash. And La Posa South is way back in there. North is to the left. Although it's on the east, they call it the north. So we'll swing around here and take a look at this place. This is all public land here, except for the city itself, or the town. That's I-10 there. That's looking north on 95. It's called Central Avenue here in uh, Quartzsite. And that's the town of Quartzsite right there, you see in it. And this is, are they getting ready for the RV show? And that's I-10, 17 miles away is the uh, California state line. That's pretty much it. That's what they call Q Mountain there. Let's see if we can zoom in on it. Yeah, there it is. Let's get landed.